Hello! And welcome to Grug Gaming. And welcome back to our Let's Play of Elden Ring. Uh, we're up here in this uh, kind of area of Mount Gelmir, which we still don't have a map for. Uh, so we are heading into the Windham Cannon Combs, where we left off last episode. Uh, it has been, in reality, about two weeks since I have had a chance to play the game. Uh, so I may be a little bit rusty today, everyone, so bear with me. Shall we? All right, what do we got? We got our standard, you know, door and a way to go. A little bit of root resin. Be wary of tra- Aha! Yep. Yep or doodle. All right, so we got to go down. Kind of look around, see if there's a path we can go on the sides at all. Yes, there is a level there we can get to. Oh, that looks scary. Uh, let's go up this little path here first. What have we got? Liar ahead. Why is it always a liar? That's all people do. There is no secret passage here. But there was a... A little thing for us to grab. We almost fell down there and died. That would have been terrible bad. Yeah, that's just death down there. Let's get this back here in case we need it. And uh, just do a little checky check. Looks fine. Yep. No reason. Uh, I love how it says liar ahead. Because, uh, there must be, you know, messages we're not seeing. Uh, oh. Okay, these are just statues. They're not gargoyles. None up top to be scared of. Ooh, there is something there, though. What do we got? We got a gargoyle there. I've learned my lesson in enough of these levels. Oh! They're shooting lightning! Holy moly! Oh, that was close. Woo! This is bad. <laughs> Hold on. Wow. Buddy. That was unpleasant. That was extremely unpleasant. Nobody likes me in lightning. You jerk. Okay, on we go. A little bit of the old ghost flame. Bloodstains here, so let's be a little careful. Okay, one on the wall. Let's see if we can't... Uh... Hey, buddy. Oh, running low on arrows. Need to buy some when we get a chance. Are you a lightning thrower? Or are you just a dude? You're just a dude. Oh! Nope, they're all lightning throwers. Okay. Note to self. Lots of lightning being thrown around. Oh, hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. A little bit of that grave glove wart. Man, we've taken so much damage. Let's see, get up there. Zombies and slugs. Oh! That's awkward. It's a little weird. There we go. Ah. Uh. Do I have any fire bombs? I think these things will die to fire pretty easily, right? Yep. I should go get some, um... Some more... Oh, hi. I don't like you. Go away. Let's 
stupid zombies. All right, there's another one up there. Go ahead and get him to fall down. One up there. Uh-oh. Mistimed. These are the worst. Down you go, slimy. Woo! Just don't want to use up all my fire pots on these guys. I'll have to spend hours gathering butterflies and, uh... Mushrooms, right? Yeah, butterflies and mushrooms. Oh yeah, there's a trap right there. Okay, well, that's handy to see. I would like to be unlocked from the ever respawning dudes here. Grab our glove wart. So we got a door that we probably come back through. So, if we just kind of get away from this nonsense here. This is probably can't be opened from this side. Nope. Is so that same layout as the... Oh, no. Okay. Well, this just got not cool. Alright, so we need to deal with this. Maybe they don't infinitely spawn like the other ones. We'll see here in a moment. Nope, there's another one behind us. You can set this trap off to kill a bunch of them easily. That's fine. Come on. Get over here. Come on. Come on. Oh, thought I set that off. Apparently not. Alright, now we have to deal with whatever this nonsense is here. And I think this guy is going to shoot lightning. He looks like a lightning dude, right? I mean, we fought this guy before. Woo! Come on, get around him, Grog. Or, here, we'll just slap him a bit. Woo! I need to, I need to heal. There we go. I mean, you're not that scary. I thought you were going to be worse. But, I mean, we've fought those guys plenty of times. I don't know why I was so frightful. So fearful of that nonsense. Shouldn't have been. Oh, hi, trap. Huh. Well, that was luck. Uh, what do we need here? One key. I hear something walking around. I mean, yeah, let's do it. What did we get? What's our prize here? The Lightning Scorpion Charm. There it is. 
Resists lightning attack, but lowers damage negation. Oh, raises lightning attack. Okay. Well, not really useful for us, but that's okay. Obvious dude up there. What happens when we walk in here? Oh, it's one of these. Oh, no. It's one of these. So we gotta get across to that guy. Alright, we're coming. We're a coming. Anything else to pick up? Nope. And not a. Yep, not a secret door. And then, is there anything down below? Uh, no, I think you would die going down below. Uh, we got another knight. Thank you. Ooh, that's a mighty big sword you have there, sir. Oh, I thought I'd get past him. There you go, sir. Alright, here's our unlock. Door to the boss room is opened. Not to so bad. Uh, the last thing to check, though, is going to be is if there is... Okay, there's not. Oh, I know what it'll do. This will drop down behind that gate area somewhere. Are any of these that just look suspiciously like a secret door? Oh no, I just I'm on the hunt for secret doors today. Okay. Look. Come on. Okay, yeah, I don't think... Oh. There's not enough time to get down below that. So, is there something we're missing over here? Yeah, we killed this guy. Is there a hole in the ground that we missed? I don't see anything that we missed here. I don't know. I mean, we're obviously missing something because we're not... to the left, right? Oh, these faces are different. These aren't the normal type of guys. Huh. Oh, wait, look at that. That looks a little too... Nope, I was wrong. A 
back down we go, I guess. Uh, this way. I mean, how do you get back there? There's no hole in the ceiling. Okay, these are not infinitely spawning. How do we get in there? I don't see the way in. Nothing here. Ah. There must be another route that we missed up here somewhere. No side paths. Here's where we fought these two guys. Oh wait, a pump? No. Ha 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 ha. I mean, there's something going on with that. Section. I mean, unless you drop down from up here somewhere, I don't see how you would. Oh! All right, let's rest up and then we'll come back down here and fight the boss. get our flasks and everything back, you know what I mean? You know how that goes for us. Oh, gotta fix this recording screen. There we go. Alright, let's find out what this boss is all about here, shall we? Get Lutel ready. Oh, just an Erdtree Burial Watchdog? That's it? Oh, this was the Lightning one, of course, but... Oh! Buddy! Uh-oh! I've misjudged. Lutel, can you, uh, get involved? Oh! Stab of Lutel. That's his. <laughs> this fight is silly. Alright. Man, if you didn't have a buddy with you. This would be rather difficult. Come on, Lutel, get him. Stab him. There we go. I thought I could get him in the air. I failed at life. Lutel's got this. We could have just sat back and watched it happen. Good job, Lutel. 
the Glovewort Pickers Bell Bearing 1. Oh, we were supposed to come here much earlier than we did. That did feel a little bit too easy. Well, I have no idea how to get to the other part of this dungeon, and I don't feel like spending... Well, I mean, let's... Nah. I don't feel like spending like eight hours trying to figure out how to get to that little spot that we can't figure out how to get into. That don't make no sense to me. But yeah, based on the damage output, we probably should have come here sooner. That's okay. Not a problem. Alright, so back outside the catacomb. We still have yet to get the map. We haven't figured out how to get across this. We haven't done this little section. We finished the ruins. In fact... Don't we have... Do we have a piece of death root? Yeah, I think we do. Alright, we need to take that back. Hopefully we'll remember to do that this episode. Because down there is where we fought the boatman. Down here... That's where we came out from fighting the two ladies. I feel like we should go that way. Oh, hey, a beetle. Okay. Well, let's do this. Let's, uh... Let's get a quick refresh. A little post-boss refresh here real quick. Head over here and down. So down here. Let's follow this river area and oh. Yeah, we've used that site. I forgot that was there. Let's go this way. Oh! Horse. You're the worst! Ash of War Barrage. Using the bow held horizontally, ready the bow, then fire off a rapid succession of shots faster than the eye can see. Okay, what do we have here? Just a bunch of volcanic stone. A little fire thing happening. So we're heading into the volcano. Aha! Golden seed, thank you very much. I'll be happy to take that. Looks like a ghosty man over there. Ah. Okay. Obvious trap. Oh, so they stone five. It's not bad. Is that like Huh. Alright, what does Ghosty Man here have to say? Oh. What was that? 
Hello. Oh, here's the basilisk. Oh, hello. Oh, look. Multiple basilisks. Oh, that's getting a little high. <laughs> getting a little high on the old, uh... Listen. You're the worst. Well, we know what Death Blight does now. We hadn't seen that before. Woo! Note to self. Basilisks are literally the worst. Now, I just hope that doesn't carry over like the cursed effect from previous Dark Souls, where now we have less health. That would be on cool. Luckily, we're right here. Get back to it. And here's where he fought the boatman. Let's save ourselves about 30 seconds if we die again by just setting this as our spawn point. Mushrooms. Handy. grab our souls first of all and then we'll take care of this stupidness that is these things man I'm just having all kinds of trouble picking things up today I want to talk to, I think that's patches there but I can't tell are these easier to fight on horseback is that what this is is that the correct way to fight the basilisk is just on horseback. It appears to be the case. Oh, come on. Okay, we have now solved the basilisk problem. Juvenating boluses, hefty beast bones, glass shards. There's the, oh, hi. I hear the other one, I hear you. Or maybe you just wait for them to jump in and do their big, like, fill their throat sack up. Come on. Come on. Literally the worst. So there's the bridge that we couldn't cross earlier. So we're on this side of the broken bridge. Okay. Some nascent butterfly. That's just a death area down there. 
So, is this patches over here? It looked like patches from a moment ago. That's patches, right? Nope! You're just a guy! I thought that was... I thought that was Patches, chilling out there, waiting on us. Alright, what do we have here? A two-key entrance. How are we doing on keys? I mean, I'm gonna use them. What do we have here? Seath Water Cave. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what I think we're going to do. We're at 30 minutes, and I don't want to dive into a cave right yet. Let's go drop off our... Uh, where's our dude? Where's our buddy? He lives up here, doesn't he? Yeah, the bestial sanctum. Oh. I can't travel from here. Let's head outside. Hey, buddy. Oh, there's a bunch of zombies down there. Didn't see those before. Okay. Let's try heading here now. Head to the Bestial Sanctum. Let's turn in this piece of piece of death root that we have. Take just a moment to load in, apparently. Where's my buddy? No! Why? Why? Why is he... What did we do? Why is this NPC aggressive? Why? Why is this guy suddenly aggressive? Like, what did we do? I'm not in combat anymore. Can I get out of combat so I can map? It won't let us get out of combat stance. Why is he suddenly aggressive to us? I'm not in combat anymore, game. Like I'm not. Let me let me teleport. That's, that's not safe. Why does it think I'm in combat? Or I know why it thinks I'm in combat, but why is that guy suddenly aggressive?
Like... What the hoozy what's now? Okay. Well, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go level us up. I'm going to go level us up a little bit, spend these 20-some thousand souls we have, and I'm going to look up and find out why that character is suddenly aggressive to us. Like, that's like when Blade... The wolf guy that looks like Guts from Berserk. Why couldn't we be his friend? He was just suddenly aggressive out of nowhere. Like, it didn't make sense. And this doesn't make sense. Like, I am so confused. I'm trying to remember what that guy's name is. Um, let's, I just, I, I'm just going to look this up right now while we're on the... Garonk Beast clergyman like there's something happening in this game that we are doing Garonk suddenly hostile let's see here Okay. Okay. We're okay. We just have to fight him a little bit, it appears. Um, what about... Here we go. Why was Blade... see here blade okay we might be able to fix blade we might be able to do this let's uh man i don't want to lose these souls accidentally let's go here we go we got to do some damage to him and not die we might lose these 20,000 souls i'm not too worried if we do you know what we're just going to try this real quick. I had to look this up. I was going to be so angry because we have been hunting down these death roots for this guy. And uh, suddenly, for him to go aggressive, that was upsetting. All right, we need to go. There he is. Okay. All right, so we can knock our shield out of our way. Okay. Oh, we missed. We're not locked on at all. Ah! Wow, he's fast. He's really fast. I can't hit him. Okay. Says you have to do a not inconsiderable amount of damage to him. So it looks though like we could probably cheese him through the door a little bit. Um, let's take a look here. See if we can't figure out a plan. We should be right next to that grace as far as 
this goes, our big beastie boy is all angry at us. Alright, first of all, where's our... Okay, there they are. Pardon me, sir. Hey, you. Alright. Ow. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. I wonder. He's an angry boy. That hits hard. That hits really hard. Woo! Come on. I'm just having some trouble hitting here. All right. Got to shoot him a little bit here. When he hits you, he just chunks of health. Come on. Yeah, we definitely need to buy more arrows. It's going to take a while. If we can poke him through the wall, you know, we can really do this cheese some justice. Come on. Man, that one attack is so impressive. I would summon in Lutel to do some damage, but I don't want Lutel to keep attacking if we can get him to go non-aggressive. Oh, there we go. I think that might be it. Alright, I think we got him. I think we did what needed to be done. All right. No secret door. All right, let's see if he resets to somebody that is no longer going to try to kill us. Is it safe here now? Can we be friends? Okay, he's back to his friend zone area. Hand over death root. I won't forget again. My appetite. My sin. I must have war. I must consume. 
All right, we got the Beast Claw Incantation. Creates Beast Claws that are in the land with shockwaves. Charging enhances potency. This incantation represents the fury of Garunk. His bestial nature returned as much as it does his restless agitation. All right. Oh, and hey, we can actually use that. Oh, okay. Well, that's cool. Uh, speaking of things to check out, there's one more place I want to go back to before we end this episode, then. Uh, I'm going to go to... Uh, where was that mansion? Here we go. I want to go up here. Up to Ronnie's Rise. Because I keep hearing about this quest line being super important. And we never really initiated it. I want to go back and talk to this lady. Because apparently a chest that we came across earlier in the game that we couldn't open is related to her quest line. So we're going to see... If we can't talk to her again, see what she tells us to do. Uh, all right, Randy's rise. Head on up here. This is where she was, right? I think. She was up here. Oh no, there was no one up here. We came to talk to her and she what there was no one here. That was the problem. Okay. So this isn't going to do anything for us. Oh well. I just thought I'd check that out. Okay, folks. Well, I am going to go level us up a little bit. Uh, and then, huh. forgot that was there. Uh, I'm going to go level us up a little bit, and then we'll head back to that uh, cave, the Seath Water Cave, probably next episode. So until then, I'm going to say thanks for watching. Please tell your friends. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and as always, we hope to see you soon.